Have you ever thought of having an online store where you can easily sell your products and reach new customers? If the answer is yes, then you might be having these two options in mind, either Equit or Shopify. What's up guys, welcome to another amazing marketing tutorial with IG Rogers. So on this channel, we produce amazing content on marketing tips, strategy, and also post-production content. So if you are new subscribers or if you are new to this channel, let me say welcome and also please subscribe to our channels for more and amazing marketing tips and strategy. And also if you are returning subscribers, I want to say welcome as, as well and thank you for sticking with us. So in today's video, uh, I know like if you're watching this video and you have like a startup and you've been hoping to have an online store, this is the right video for you. Because in this video, like there are two um, top uh, platforms people usually talk about and that is Equit and, uh, and Shopify. So basically these are e-commerce platforms that you can use to sell out your products, services or whatever you might be offering. So in this video, I'm going to be telling you both the pros and cons of these two platforms and how you can make use of it and also which one is best that you could use because like uh, although they both have advantages but also keep in mind there are disadvantages as well so depending on your budget depending on your business size depending on what you you want to achieve yeah based on what I'm going to tell you you can be able to extract like the best option and also go for which one you think is going to work best for you. So stick with this video and stick with us as I'm going to draw you to uh, both Equits and, uh, and, and Shopify, which one is best for your startup or for your e-commerce online store. So stick with us as I draw you to these two platforms. <music> So guys, now we have Equits versus Shopify. So basically, in this comparison, I'm going to put two well-known but quite different e-commerce solutions to test, and that is Equit and uh, and Shopify. So just before I get a bit deep into this tutorial, uh, let's first establish what these two uh, platforms are in terms of definition, so that we can better understand. Uh, the route on which we are we are heading to in terms of understanding these platforms and knowing which one is better and which one is going to best suit your business your startup or whatever you are planning to do so <clears throat> so quickly uh equit it's uh it's an e-commerce plugin which allows you or which lets you to add e-commerce function to a website so what do i mean equit is not a, a website builder Equit is not a website builder. So Equit basically it's uh it's just an e-commerce platform which allows you to set up your online store. That's just it. So it's not a website builder. And this platform, the good thing about this platform, it's a very popular and successful platform over the years since it was founded in 2009. And not just that, like the proof that evidence to this is the number of, of revenue this platform has raised for merging, like this platform has raised over five billion in merging revenue. So this tells you how successful this platform is. So coming to Shopify. So Shopify basically is, is the same as Equit. So it's like an e-commerce platform which lets you to create your very own online store. And one thing about Shopify is that it's popular with online sellers with and uh, customers. And it was established Unlike um, Equus that was founded in 2009, for Shopify it was like 2006 before, a few years before uh, Equus was founded. So since that time, this platform has also seen a huge level of success. So there's been a grand total of 200 billion sold through Shopify. So Merchant has been able to sell over 200 billion from Shopify platforms. So like you could say that could count as one of the uh, the, the differences between Equit and, and Shopify. So another thing you see, uh, these two platforms, like I said, there are pros and cons to these two platforms. Each of them has their, their good side and their downside as well. So let me just come a bit to, uh, 
to Shopify or Equid. Let me start with I will start with Equid first and explain a bit on the uh, the pros it has and also the cons that are involved. So um, for Equid, one of the pros there is that no need to start from scratch, right? That is the good side of it. So it's quick and easy to turn your existing website into an online store. So you can have an existing website and still utilize Equid platform. So you don't need to, to, to start working. With, like let's say for example, if you have a, a website on, on on Wix, for example, because like it's possible to connect Equid and Wix. Let's say you have a website or on Wix and you want to connect Equid with Wix, it's very easy. There's no stress, no coding, nothing like you just follow the instruction and you'll be good to go. So that's one of the good side of Equid or the advantage. And the second pros to that is it's beginner friendly. Like I said, uh, you don't need to have coding knowledge. You can still use Equid without having any knowledge on coding. So it's quick and easy to add e-commerce capabilities to your website. No coding skills required. That's why I previously said you don't need to have any coding skills before you use Equid. And the third disadvantage I would say is uh, multi-channel selling. It's easily expand your, your customer base by selling across multiple stores. So if you log into Equids, you will see uh, they have a lot of platforms that you can connect your store with, like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. So these are platforms that you can use to market your products. So that tells you how good and how unique this platform is. But unfortunately, there are downsides to the platform as well. And one of those is it has a limited design options like it's very restrictive very restrictive in terms of customization like it don't, it don't allow you to add more design and features to your 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 store and make it look the way you want it to be so it's limited in terms of that one so that's one of the downside of equity and the second downside here it's a small scale sales tool so equity can uh, support too much growth many fast growing store will run into a limitation so like equity mainly it's recommended for just small startup or just startup so if you have a large uh, business i recommend that you try another platform but if you just be starting your business and want to have some sales and increase your sales using online platforms and for people to, to be able to buy on, on, online and stuff i would say equity is the best way to go but if you have a bigger business like i don't think equity is will be that best option because there are a whole lot of limitation in terms of fast growing store so like i would recommend you try another uh platform if if that's the case or if you fall in that category and the next downside i would say here is uh, basic free plan so they have um various plans like the pricing plan so you can choose from from those plan but i think there is a free plan so you can still use a equate or a free plan but the downside to it is that the free plan is very limited with no access to app market and no chat or phone support so there's no app that you can connect your store with although those apps and platforms they are there like facebook instagram tiktok but once you are using the free plan you cannot market your product on those platforms so that's the disadvantage and coming on the other side to uh to shopify i would say there are whole lots of pros and cons to that so one of the good side to shopify is no need to start from stripe like equity so so it's quick and easy to turn your existing website into an online so so basically like if you look keenly you understand that these two platforms like they share almost the same thing in common they share almost the same thing in common in terms of similarity and the next thing is the multi-channel selling easily expand your customer base by selling across multiple store or platforms or you just name it and again it's beginner friendly just as equity so that's one of the good side to shopify and the design again is another problem that could be like the coins so it's, it has a limited design option very restrictive and so if you notice it's just the same these two platforms they have almost the same thing in common but what distinguishes them is this is the uh the pricing so i'll come quickly to the pricing and explain a bit on the various pricing options that are available for equity and um uh, and shopify so one let's first look at equity right so equity offers you four plans 
and the good news is one of them is entirely free like i was saying so from the four plans that equit offer you have the option to use the free plan but there are a whole lot of limitation if you choose to use the free plan so like the free plan like i said it's zero dollar you don't have to pay anything then you have a plan called the venture plan so that starts from 15 dollars per month so that tells you how affordable it is anyone can afford it per month that's that's way better like you can even fit that within your budget as an e-commerce and the next plan here is the business plan so this plan starts from 35 dollars per month followed by the unlimited or the the, the the premium plan which is 99 dollars per month but all these plans they have features available so like coming back to the um coming back to the uh the free plan like i said there are whole lots of limitation you can do certain things you can add a lot of products so on the free plan you can add more than 10 products on the free plan right so this rises to 100 on venture so like for the venture plan which is the next one you can add up to 100 products on the venture plan and followed by the business plan which is the one that costs 59 dollars so for that one you can add up to 2500 products on the venture plan and for the the uh the next one you can add unlimited products so that one there's no restriction like the premium is unlimited you can add as many products as you wish to add so that's one of the good side of equity so coming to shopify the pricing option so shopify in itself it provides five pricing plans so you have the lid which is starts from nine dollars per month so keep in mind equity provide a free plan shopify does not provide any free plan so the plan starts from nine dollars per month and for equity the plan starts from zero dollar per month so that's one of the key difference so the reason I, i'm trying to re-emphasize this like if you are if you are a startup like you want to consider the your 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 budget like you want to start with something that is affordable that can fit within your budget because like you just starting you in show like you just starting and you want to try out everything so you can invest a lot of money into things and later on you be the one to lose so you have to take that into consideration so the next one you have is the basic shopify which starts from 29 dollar per month followed by shopify itself which starts from 79 dollar per month then you have the advanced shopify which is 299 dollar per month and shopify plus which is two thousand dollar per month so one of the difference i would highlight from what i just explained in terms of my final analysis from the pricing i would say shopify is more expensive than equity shopify is more expensive than equity shopping for equity the pricing plan starts from zero data up to 99 data per month for shopify the pricing plan starts from nine data up to two thousand dollar per month so that tells you how costly it is and the beauty about it for shopify you have the option to to do a lot of design thing although it's limited but comparing it to equity like you can still do some pretty good design and the store is stand up as compared to using equity equity is completely limited completely limited in terms of design but for shopify i would say it's much better in terms of design like you can do a pretty good good store that will stand up as compared to trying to design your store on uh on equity so all shopify plan allow you to sell an unlimited number of goods using as many categories as you like so yes the main difference the main difference is that it includes the number of user account you can have along with the access to professional reporting and real-time career shipping so that that could be one of the main difference again between shopify and equity probably it could be because of the rise in price or maybe because the the, the high price that the vero plan have probably that could be one of the reasons why they provide a better option that you can choose from so the more you pay the more you get an an an, an all, all accounts so with the exception of Shopify, like all the above plan allows you to create a standalone online store, right? So these are the options that you can choose from as, as well. And both these platforms, they allow you to sell on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. So that's the marketing side of it. So if you're starting your business, that's something that you can look up for as well that I feel is really going to be help, helpful. So now, now bringing you back to... My final conclusion between these two platforms i will say um 
both platforms are great e-commerce platform and they share a lot of things in common so the similarity is very close but um as a startup like I, i'm very I, I would advise that you be very key on 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 the pricing so that's where equus stands out when it comes to the pricing because equus it's very affordable like i previously said it starts from zero data so you can use equus although it's not advisable that you use the free plan because there are a lot of things that you won't be able to do using the free plan you'll be limited to the number of products you'll be limited to adding your own custom domain you'll be limited to um to doing a lot of things like running your marketing through your dashboard so you'll be limited to that so it's advisable if you're starting with equity you can start with 15 dollars which is the uh the basic plan or the venture so that is like very affordable as compared to equity where you start a non data so the non data is compared to the zero data and the 29 data is compared to the 15 dollars so that's a huge difference so for pricing i would highly recommend uh, that you start with uh, equit if you're someone who is very key on your own finance i would say equit is the right way to go in terms of design shopify is way better than equit although they are limited in terms of design but still shopify is way better than equit because equit is strictly limited in terms of design so i would say it's up to you the both platforms are, are great depending on your own goal so they are great like but shopify it's it's better in terms of design, in terms of marketing, it was just recently Equit added a lot of marketing feature to their to the platform where you can you could use. But Shopify, it's like top notch when it comes to that because they have a lot of features that are automated. Like it works for you. You just pay the money and it works for you. Unlike Equit, like you you cannot buy one key difference. Here, you cannot buy a custom domain on Equit. But Shopify, I think one of the plan once you. You buy one of the plan or you pay for one of the plan they give you like a custom domain for one year so that's a great feature of, of shopify so i would say unless if you have the resources i would say go for shopify if you have the resources because it's popular shopify is popular but if you don't have the resources you're trying to manage trying to start up your your own business and like see how you can grow i would say start up with equits that's just it for equits and shopify that was helpful and you can certainly feel free to leave a comment like this video and also subscribe to our channel